D-U-B-A-I-K-H-O-B-A-I, Saudi Arabia Reuters Saudi authorities are preparing to auction billions of dollars of real estate and cars belonging to billionaire Man al Sania and his company as they look to hasten an end to one of the kingdom's longest-running debt disputes. The planned sale is the latest signal that Saudi Arabia is serious about holding its elites to account. In an anti-corruption crackdown last November, authorities detained scores of senior officials on charges of alleged graft. Most have been released after being exonerated or agreeing to give the state money, assets or real estate. The Alsania case is separate from the main anti-graft campaign. The businessman, in 2007 he was ranked by Forbes as one of the world's 100 richest people, was detained by authorities late last year for unpaid debt dating back to 2009 when his company, Saad Group, defaulted on debts. Creditors have spent the past nine years pursuing Saad, which is based in the city of Koba in Saudi Arabia's eastern province, for debt that's some estimate to be between 40 billion reals, 10.67 billion dollars and 60 billion reals. Investors see the case as a litmus test of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's commitment to reforms. Et Khan Alliance, the consortium appointed by Saudi authorities to liquidate assets owned by Al Sania and the company in an effort to repay creditors, plans to begin selling the company's assets in Saudi Arabia, according to several sources familiar with the matter. The sales will happen in the coming weeks, the sources said. The liquidator has produced a slick video that it has posted on YouTube with the tagline, The sale everyone has been waiting for in Koba, featuring some of the properties and land to be sold. A brochure accompanying the sale includes a list of 20 plots of land owned by Saad Trading, part of Saad Group, and Alsania. The properties are mostly located in Koba. The largest unit is a 484,407 square meter plot of land that includes buildings and a sewage water treatment plant. The brochure does not include valuations, but the sources said the real estate was valued at around 4.4 billion reals, based on an official list of real estate provided to authorities. A source at the Ministry of Justice confirmed to Reuters an auction would be launched this month to sell vehicles, equipment, a large quantity of building materials and some property before the Islamic fasting month of Ramadan, which starts in May, according to the sources who have seen the official list provided to authorities, Saad owns an estimated 3.5 BLN reals of real estate, while Al Sania personally owns an estimated 6.8 BLN reals. Much of that is in Riyadh, Damam and Koba. A property belonging to billionaire Man al Sania is seen in Koba in Saudi Arabia's eastern province February 26, 2018. Reuters Sahar Al Trifi Reuters was unable to verify whether all of that real estate will be auctioned by Et Khan or the number of vehicles that will be sold. Saad owns 923 vehicles, including trucks, buses and cars, according to the sources who had seen the list provided to authorities, while Al Sania has 26 vehicles, including a Rolls-Royce, a Hummer, and Cadillac Concorde. The sale does not include the 750-bed Saad Specialist Hospital in Koba, which the government is in talks with private companies to run, or foreign assets owned by Al Sania Assad. Legal battles around the world The auction is set to take place a few weeks after the government wound down the anti-corruption crackdown that involved the detention of scores of senior Saudi officials, including princes, in Riyadh's luxurious Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Man al Sania meeting with Prince Andrew in a 2007 photo. Michael Harris via Reuters files The government has said the process raised more than $100 billion, mostly in the form of land, stakes in businesses and other illiquid assets rather than cash. Proceeds from Etkan's auction will be distributed to creditors via a legal process overseen by a three-judge tribunal set up in 2016 to handle claims against Saad and Ahmad Hamad al Ghazibi Brothers Co., another big local conglomerate that defaulted on debt in 2009. Creditors have pursued legal battles over the debt around the world for almost a decade, while the two groups have squabbled over which of them is to blame for the meltdown. In an effort to stave off the liquidation process, Saad late last year launched its own process to engage with creditors. It hired a financial consultancy, Remers Group, to offer a proposed settlement covering $4 BLN in debt. Remers did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Saad Group has been told by the court that it needs to obtain the agreement of creditors to its plan as soon as possible and then the court will consider the proposal, according to the sources. In an email sent by Remus last year, it told creditors its intention was to secure preliminary consent from the majority of lenders to its proposal to put the auction process at a halt. 
Graphic Saudi Royal Family Arrests Roy.RS2DHWWBD Additional Reporting by David Barbush Our Standards to Thomson Reuters Trust Principles